welcome to another episode of Say What? And I am your host, Official Just Handy. I'm Rosa, and today we're going to be discussing the very questioned and shocking subject of plastic, plastic surgery. surgery. Ooh, I don't know, girl. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So plastic surgery. Yeah, what do you think? So I Absolutely. think... Absolutely. No. <laughs> no. And why is that? I'm just kidding. Oh, you like it? I've actually got my ass done. Oh my God, are you serious? Yeah, you didn't know? I did not know. I'm joking. Oh, okay. Okay, you got anything Your ass is cute. Have you seen it? Yeah, it's big. It's like, no. To be honest though, genuinely, I think it looks super fake. Like your boobs, but yeah. sometimes they can kind of be a little bit disguised. When you have ass implants, that is, it looks literally like a bulge and then down. <laughs> it it's depends, not cute. like, I think people, they just don't, they don't think before they actually do these things. It's like, I see girls, they would have like really skinny legs and then they would have this big hole, like two Chloe watermelons Kardashian. on their backs and it just looks really stupid. Like you look dumb. Yeah, like I'm not gonna lie. I, I think Chloe Kardashian is a joker, like I rate her. <laughs> But <laughs> did you say she's a joker? She's a joker in a, in a positive way, like <laughs> as in I rate her, like <laughs> that she's a joke. <laughs> like I rate her. I think yeah. she's fun, yeah. but like her ass does not look nice. What do you think? Um, I think it she's got suits this, her because of yeah. her height. I think it, it looks okay. But compared to her legs, her legs are so no, slim. No, I think Kim Kardashian's is absolutely just, just, she looks like she's meant to be a part of a bug's life. Yeah, like, like she they, they could be a star in that movie. Together. It's, it's, it's terrible. And the reason I wanted us to even like do this topic, especially for kids out there, because there's a lot of teenagers on social media who see these things and think that it's absolutely normal to just, you know, go out there and have surgery on things that you really don't need to change. You fix yourself when really You don't need fixing at all. Like mm-hmm. Kim Kardashian was so beautiful before mm-hmm. all the surgeries and whatever else that she does with herself. But mm-hmm. um, now I think ass is now the thing everyone is now putting a lot of crap in their behinds <laughs> it is They're putting crap inside when it should be it's not being people have actually died from this i remember about yeah. two years well, ago Kanye West's mom. oh yeah. yeah she got the, um she was trying to do a tummy tuck mm. and it went bad and then that cost her her life so she could have been here today she just went to the gym but um mm. it's just really sad that you know this has now become a thing for our generation and so i so normalized it, it's 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 not it's not fair it's not fair for the younger generation at all and even just the idea that okay i don't i wasn't born with this shape so i'm not going to go to the gym because you can improve your bum you can improve yeah. so much about if you want to make it, like make things bigger yeah. but just getting surgery is just I just I, I can't go over the fact that someone would think it looks nicer. It never looks nicer. <laughs> it looks like and if I was looking at that, I'd be like, ooh, like I don't, I don't know if I want to touch it. Is it hard? Is it gonna <laughs> spill if we like get it jiggy? Feels like I don't cautious. know. I just feel like whoa, you know. Yeah, I'm not like one hundred percent. Let me clarify. I'm not one hundred percent against plastic surgery like i do believe no. everyone has a choice mm-hmm. and if it's something that you feel that would make you feel much more comfortable and confident as a person yes. i'm just speaking about bum surgery though just in general yeah I had, that's i've never seen it i feel like if you're gonna do bum surgery move fat from one place to another don't do the, yeah. the implants the yeah. implants is is whack mm-hmm. it's whack and it's unrealistic and if you're gonna do it, you can't have twig legs and a big thing behind. Like, mm. It just looks stupid. Definitely. You do walk around looking dumb. Like I'm so sorry, but it looks it looks really silly. And people know. Mm. I remember it's like um, um, do you, I don't know if you watch Love and Hip Hop, but um, Jocelyn Hernandez. She's know. always like said, "Oh no, my ass is real. Just my titties are fake." Like, girl, goodbye, bye, bye. <laughs> We've seen pictures of you before. <laughs> we've but seen bitches before stop it mm. you know what i mean it's 
kind of interesting what you said about earlier though like some people it is good for them to have plastic surgery i mean like you know the case where um i can't remember her name it was the the girl she got slated so much mm-hmm. she was born with a condition where she, she didn't her breast tissue didn't grow yeah. so she got breast implants on the nhs and she got slated like Why? generally slated um because she uh, made a post on the newspaper about mm-hmm. the fact that and i think that the tagline was i got boobs on, fake boobs on the nhs and i don't care or something to do with like yeah you know i'm happy that the I've title probably been- was really misleading if the story completely, was she you know completely completely I mean? um but yeah no i think there's definitely every individual case is different but it comes down to you know being comfortable with yourself and if you're, you're gonna need if you want to get plastic surgery then you know you're going down the wrong route because you're never going to be happy completely i think it's something that you definitely need to think long and hard about and maybe speak to some friends and some family members to obviously have their opinion because it's not something that you just go and you know they just slip it in there and you walk out uh, you know pain free <laughs> no this is something that you know you have to be put to sleep for most um for most surgeries you have to be mm-hmm. put to sleep for these stuff and um i've had friends that have actually had their breasts done and and other things done on mm-hmm. their body and it was just down to them not being happy about certain things mm-hmm. or even um moms who've had kids and you know things have changed and they're That's not happy about true. themselves okay so who do we think looks good with plastic surgery who do we think doesn't so who looks hot and who is not? Who is hot and who is not? Okay. So my first hot that's definitely done plastic surgery mm-hmm. has to be Kylie Jenner. I love. Okay, that's been debated, but yeah, go on. I love the lips on her. <laughs> like, love her lips. <laughs> I love the lips on her. I think it really does suit <clears throat> her. And come on, mm-hmm. she does look better than before. I think if that's one plastic surgery that I would say was a complete success. I it agree. definitely suits her brand. And now she's riding those lips. She's having her lip gloss line. It's she- true, <laughs> yeah. Definitely Rosa, right what are you there. riding, girl? <laughs> what was you? Did you see her? She just- <laughs> I can't. You made me do it. You made me I do it. I didn't do anything, me. honey. <laughs> no, to be honest, they, they look natural. If you didn't know what she looked like before, you probably wouldn't. Um, assume that she yeah. had plastic surgery. Yeah. So well done, Mr. Plastic Surgeon. You got probably Ding. paid a lot. But. She gets a check. She gets a tick. There you go. So my who does not. Mm-hmm. Um, I think this is gonna have to go to. Low Kim. Oh yeah, it's such a shame. Like she was. So so do you know what pretty. I mean? I just look at you and I do actually feel sad. I'm like, you don't even look human she anymore. Doesn't. Can I say that? Do you know, she but looks true. Like she's meant to be yeah. in Thriller in Michael yeah. Jackson's. Like, it's like music her eyes video. are so squashed and she's so puffy that, like, she just did too much. Mm-hmm. I felt that Lil Kim back in the right. day was just buff. Like, mm, she power. was just absolutely beautiful. And I don't know. She started the bleaching, and then it was the 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 Botox, and then it the was the fillers, ass, and then and the then fillers. Just the wow, like yeah. She's trying okay. to be a life size Barbie, and it just failed. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, it's it's it's, it's quite um. What's the words? Upsetting. It's not hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's not hot. so. So that's my night. Yeah, that's her what's night. yours. So my hot is gonna go to Jennifer Aniston because you she looks so good for her age yeah okay you wouldn't even think that she's had that much plastic surgery but she yeah I didn't know that she had any she definitely has because she looks amazing no like she would have had like I don't really know but like Botox she would have had stuff on her face like her face looks very ageless so she's a hundred percent had plastic surgery she probably has an amazing personal trainer too yeah but I think she looks with the help of plastic surgery. There's always a little something, something done. A little something, something. <laughs> but well, sadly, her friend, her best friend, yeah. it just does not look good. <clears throat> Have you guys seen Courtney Cox? Oh snap! I'm sorry, but <laughs> like, it's such a shame because the thing is, she would have had a lot of money. You could have found a very good plastic surgeon, and no. It's not it's even a- about the money sometimes. It's literally that you just don't need the surgery. So when you went, like, go mm. adding stuff to yourself, it just looks... And you like, look completely different. You yeah, look completely different person. Out of character. You and it's a real shame. So that's my nap. 
Oh, she gets a big ding Ooh. dong. <laughs> <laughs> she gets an X. But um, seriously, um, mm. as we said earlier on, this topic was meant to, um, especially reaching out to the young people out there, just letting them know that just be comfortable with who you are. And if you do feel that you need some change, definitely go and thing. speak to some friends, family members, and just, ha- you know, listen Think to what people the, have to say. Think about the things that could go wrong. I mean, because it's so easy to focus on. Yeah. But this, you know, this will make me feel, look and look at the final product. Look amazing. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't always and it can go wrong. And yeah, it's permanent. It is very permanent, like a tattoo. Yeah. So um, just think very, very, very long and hard. I don't feel that, you know, this is something that you have to do to spit into society. Don't believe the Instagram hype. It's all something that they've created to basically, what's the word? They've just created an illusion. An illusion. It's not real. Fake lifestyle. <laughs> it exactly. is not real. Especially here and in the UK. It's a lot of money as well. It's a lot of coins, honey. It's mm. a lot of coins. Exactly. Well, guys, if you think anyone is hot or not, please let us know. Um, we would love to discuss it another time. Yes. Um, <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the show. Me too. Uh, you've been watching Rosa. And Just Handy on Say, Say What. what? <laughs> on actually at tv yes yeah, so oh, make yeah. sure you guys stay tuned in follow us on instagram twitter snapchat facebook the whole shebang and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss of another course. episode you don't want to <laughs> miss another one if you do if you do i don't know i actually don't have anything but yeah just make sure you stay just in. Right. Just, just, in. just be in just be in so as i said just handy i'm rosa ouche and we ouche bye Woo.